As someone who uses the internet a lot nowadays, like many, um, safety precautions can become very detrimental to how we go about things when it comes to what websites are safe and which ones are not, plus quite a few different aspects. This topic came to my mind when I went over and watched, uh, I guess you could call him a friend, over internet, um, Jags, someone who I met through D Knight's channel. One way or the other? How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, as I said, um, this topic was originally brought up, brought to my attention by Jags last week. If I remember correctly, he is a current. Either he or his wife are, if not both, are one of them at least is a teacher, and they do. Now, not only does Jags do gaming stuff on one channel, but he also does. Um, <clears throat> another channel called On The Edge With Jags. Link in the description below because that channel actually it talks about some pretty in a way educational topics but in a way things so far because the channel just got started topics that are very important to know like what we're going to be talking about in this video. Internet safety. I actually have the video, if I'm being honest, I have his video about it running right now um, for the sake of the views for it because quite frankly I've watched both parts as of this video that he has uploaded so far. Shout out to him big time for it because what he says in both of these videos are very <laughs> detrimental. At the same time, though, I guess another one of the sort of things that kind of come to my mind when I think of this is just that he takes this stuff very seriously, and honestly, this topic that I'm going to talk about today, I take very seriously as well, especially since part of my, I guess you could call it a hobby, it's technically a hobby, but I like to consider it a job of sorts. Um... involves a lot of the internet, and internet safety has become kind of a big deal to me. Problem with internet safety though is that it, it brings on... There are several issues that can come front when it comes to internet safety. One thing that was brought up that I found that caught my attention when I first started watching this, I watched it in reverse, that so far as of what I'm as of this recording, he has two parts about this. The first part, I watched second. Forgive me. <laughs> it bothered me, so I actually watched them in the proper order. But anyway, I digress. When I first watched part two, since I did watch that one first, um, one of the first things that were brought up were cyberbullying. And this, this can be kind of a big deal. And that's an under-exaggeration by a long shot. Anybody who's been cyberbullied before knows this. Honestly, like myself. This has happened once to me. And this was like way back in, I think, 2014, 2015. Somewhere around then. And the issue that came to my attention when this happened, it, 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 when it happened, it has a big mental breakdown type response for me and it made me kind of realize how important cyberbullying can be not just to me but to others as well because when people do this stuff to me I'm more the fight side of the fight or flight response for the most part I fought back I did to the best of my abilities when things were eased in my mind, I kind of backed down and just stopped everything. But it gave me an eyesight of one thing. Cyberbullying is a bigger deal than a lot of people make it out to be. 
And when I say a lot of people, I mean a lot. I've come across so many people's... <sighs> opinions on the matter. And like many medical things, as a pretty good example, is like a lot of people brush it aside. You go, eh, it's nothing, it won't happen to me, I'll be fine. And they'll search random things on the internet. And only come to find that there are people who are hackers or scammers or cyber bullies on there to threaten your own well-being. Yes, the internet can be a dangerous place. But... Like the... Whenever there's danger, there's always safety. Internet safety... Just because... There's an amount of danger on a coin. There's always that opposite side to protect. The internet is kind of like uh, when you flick a penny off of a building. Unless you're including the, uh, I don't know, the, uh, <coughs> Eiffel Tower. I think that's high enough. If you could do it for the tip top, I don't think you can. Basically, you flick it off and it hits rock bottom. Well, one side's gonna get destroyed while the other side is protected. Well, that's in a way kind of like the internet. It's like a coin when you flick it off a building. One side will do a lot of damage but the other side will be very protective and keep you safe from any kind of harm. Now this is a weird analogy to say a coin, but the side that does the damage is the side that attacks you. The side that takes no damage is the side that's like protective and that side, well, it's virus protectors and stuff like that. There are people who think they could go without them and some can. But those people are usually the ones who take extreme precautions that only go to very direct sites and then block off all other sites and don't go anywhere else. To those who do that, kudos, you're smart as all hell. <laughs> but for the rest of us idiots on the planet who don't know how to do that, I'm not saying I am, I'm just being humorous. That protection can be very needed. And I've noticed it's not just directed towards viruses. It's directed, it's like a firewall. It'll protect from anything bad. Some of them will. Now, if I were to go into detail about which ones do, which ones don't, blah 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 blah, that's a discussion for another day. I'd have to do some research, which I don't want to do right now, to talk about that. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm, I am trying to get over a cold at the moment. Or a something. Allergies, maybe? Anyway. Um, so, one, one thing that I've noticed about this whole thing, when it comes to internet safety, the bad sides have a few more aspects. So the bad... Given, keeping in mind the good that can come off of, off of internet safety, well, let's put it this way. The bad, which how much there is out there, almost overweighs the good, unless you know exactly how to protect yourself off the bat, like what I was joking about earlier. Now this isn't something to joke about too much, that's why I'm not doing too much joking. But the reality is there's a lot more dangers out there. Like Jags said in one of his videos, unless you, if you don't trust a site or you don't know, look it up. That was when he said that, I was like, that is extremely good advice. 
not surprising to me at this point, knowing what I do know about him. But considering all that kind of stuff, that is very good advice. Given how much crap the internet does have on it, it has, you know, it has cyberbullies, it has viruses, it has, you know, different stuff that is hard to avoid nowadays, like, I don't know, it's almost impossible to find family friendly and kid friendly in one kind of things. Like, admittedly, even some of the stuff, most of the stuff on this channel is like that, but that's more because of the wording. Not because of other aspects. A lot of the internet will show things like, well, for example, porn becomes a big problem. And it's almost impossible to avoid nowadays. Thanks to, you guessed it, the internet. It's an unsafe environment. That's another big safety issue, environments. Now, I don't remember Jags bringing this up. Maybe I just missed it or I was just exhausted. I was exhausted when I was watching his videos, so it might have been that. <sighs> but internet, internet safety isn't just about, like, viruses or cyberbullies. It can also be about what the internet provides and what's, like, realistic and what's not. News, for example. Sometimes you can't tell the difference between what's gossip and what's actual news. And it's gotten to the point where half of the internet has gotten angry because this hasn't happened, or half the internet's gotten angry because this did happen. And, I mean, people rely on the internet so much nowadays that... Well, I'm going to begin by saying this. It's sad, anyway, how much people rely on the internet. But, <clears throat> at the same time... It's a cultural thing, and it brings safety to those who rely on it. It it brings that to jeopardy. It bring it, it creates, it gives what could be a safe environment a problem. It's kind of like when back in the day before internet news was kind of the only source of it, almost the only source you could go to when newspapers were like the big thing. There would be so many like false reporters or things like that to the point where it's like, that's basically what the unsafe side of the internet is. Those false reporters from back then are basically now doing it online. It's more unreliable than unsafe. But that kind of unreliability can become unsafe in turn to reality. Now, does this happen to everyone? No, of course not. But it's still a dangerous thing. I guess in the long haul, I'm not going to make this video too long. If you want to check out more detail on internet safety, I do really recommend going and checking out the videos that Jags has put up on them. Um, I'll just, rather than putting a link to the videos though, I recommend checking out the entire channel itself. So definitely go support him. He has uh, created great content other than this, but this channel caught my attention even more because of how wise the words he put were. So a link in the description below to his channel, On the Edge with Jags great content so far. He's just starting up, but definitely go support his channel and check out what he has to, has to say. Smart man, great guy, go check it out if you want to hear more about this kind of topic. Uh, for the record though, for those who want to know, I don't know the man in person. I am not getting paid or getting gifted anything to say this. This is literally my opinion and my opinion on its own. Either way, though, yeah, this is how I think about internet. This is my opinion on internet safety in a nutshell outside of many other things that could be said, but I'm going to let him say it instead. Click links on the side of my head, though, if you want to check out more live stuff that I do, or 
my channel as well if you want to check out any of the other stuff that I talk about or do on this channel. Uh, click the icon below my head for that or in the description below right above Jack's channel uh, which will be down there as well alongside his other channel which I have been sub to for quite some time I actually enjoy a lot. Thanks again for watching this video guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I hope to see you all in another video. Bye for now.